some tubing. And we're gonna go uh, this one right here, which is gonna be two hours and a half for walking. And we're gonna be tubing around some fast current. So let's see how that works out. This is not gonna be a fishing video, it's gonna be an adventure video. So let's see what happens. Little bikes, and they're gonna take us by the river. Give us his vest. My girlfriend's putting hers, they're gonna give me mine. And that's gonna be our floats. They make you stop at this place to pay the fee in order to get down to the area where you're gonna have to start walking. And now we're going through the town and then it's gonna take us right by the area where you start walking towards the ind indigenous town over here. And then you come down the river. No paved roads. So a little bike like this is the best way to get around over here. And these guys really know how to ride bikes, let me tell you. So now me and my girlfriend, our guide, Jesus, is gonna take us down. Jesus, ¿cuánto tiempo que caminan? Una hora y 20 minutos. An hour and 20 minute walk. Una gente haciéndole estudio a los árboles más grandes de aquí de esta zona. Y dijeron que este tenía más o menos 450 años de edad. Oh, wow. So now he's saying that some people came to the study and this uh, tree is actually 400 years old. It's pretty amazing. All right. I'm losing a couple pounds today, but it's all the name of adventure here. I get to the side because this guy's coming down with a donkey. There he goes. That's the ocean. We made it to the top of the first mountain that we got to get to. And now it's going to be on the way down. <laughs> on the river on this side, we're going to keep going. Thank you. Take care. So those guys are going to stay right here and we're going to keep walking. We're going up the second hill now. Now he's saying that this one is way steeper. So that's why he took my tube and tied it up to his head just in case I need my hands, which is a very good idea. We're on top of the second hill. As you can see, it's been rough. Like adventure, I'm telling you. This is adventure. Right, hiking? This is where it's at right now. We're not even halfway yet. We're gonna be halfway, he's saying, once we're on the way down this hill, that we gotta go up another hill until we get to the indigenous town. Then we're gonna hang out for a little bit, then we're gonna get to the tubing. Going downhill, all right? Look at, look at this beauty. I mean, this is worth every single minute that we walked. Wow, beautiful place. Just got to the native town. Where are we, Jesus? Welcome to the population indigenous peoples, Seviaca. Okay, Seviaca. So now he's got to ask the chief of the village to make sure that we could record. Obviously, I'm already recording, but he's going to ask for permission, see if he could actually record inside here. The son of the chief, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the, uh, about their tribe. And he already gave me permission to record. Once he's talking to me, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what he's saying to the best of my abilities. Tell, tell us about his culture, how, how they live and all that. All right. Tierra es nuestra nuestra casa que es nuestra madre que nos cuida entonces nosotros creemos en ellos. So basically he's saying that uh, they're the people that guard this area. That's what they're here for. No pueden ir a quedarse. Sí. Con ustedes. Sí, sí. Puedes quedarse. Now my girl is asking him if we can actually stay in this this place, and he's saying that yes, we can. 
So it'd be very nice to do that. There's 40 people village. Okay. That's the bags that he's talking about that make them say, Yes, la hacen ustedes también. I said, all the women of the town make that. So basically saying that the men get all the all the materials and the women is are the ones that actually make the bag. Oh, okay, so he has, so he's saying that all the colors with different plants, that's how they make the colors on the bag and they make the designs. And this is where the, uh, they do their stuff here. Casa Maria. Maria's house. Right, so this right here, this is actually the coke plant and what they use is just the leaves that they chew and obviously you guys already know what happens when they process it but this is actually the, the coke plant. Cuando se encuentran así en este estado, que están todavía recientes, si las mascan, les pela los labios, la boca por dentro. Entonces ellos esperan que la hoja se madure para poderla utilizar. So Esta es la semilla. This is the this is the coke seeds right here. Look at that. Very interesting. Basically that's how they make their stuff there. Now they sell the, the stuff that they make to the tourists like us. I mean, first time I come to a place like this and I've learned about another culture. I'm gonna pick one of, one of these for us uh, to help out these people and so we can also take a souvenir. Put it on with all his uh, good vibes from his tribe for us. Even the tribe, and they gave us their blessing. So now we're gonna start the tubing down the river, all the way down to the, uh, basically I was fishing yesterday, which that's another video. I do have a fishing video, but anyway, so the river now is gonna take us down through the rapids, all the way down to the, uh, basically where the river meets the ocean. And that's where we're gonna end the adventure. Now we're gonna start the tubing. He's saying it's two hours all the way down to where the ocean starts. So we got a nice ride, but look at this beautiful place, guys. I mean, it's just amazing. So we're getting ready for the ride. And I'll start recording once we go in. And you see the rapids all the way right there. I'm definitely gonna start there. So and the water's nice and cold. First rapids. And here we go. The first rapids over here. Oh. 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 All right. Let's keep going. Oh my God. It's not easy, guys. Oh. My girl already lost the hat. Be careful over here. Not a joke. Oh. All right, so that was a very fast. My girlfriend loves the hat. She always loves her fanny pack with all documents in there and our money. Thank God that Jesus picked it up. All right, so now we're about to get to the second set of rapids. 
Yeah. And let's see what happens here. But, baby, be careful con la piedra, okay? You see any rocks, you gotta try to bounce off of them. Well, these are definitely some rapids. Woo! Let's go! Oh, man. You know, my girlfriend having a good time, but it's, it's rough. <sighs> this is what I call adventure. Oh man, guys, this is life. I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta do this once in your life. Pray twice, but not a joke. So basically you gotta keep yourself without moving too much because if you do that's when you fall off me and my girl are tied up right here together and our guide jesus he's the one guiding us and trust me you need a guide if you don't know where you're at so definitely 100 recommend it to hire yourself a guide like we did because i'm gonna tell you it's not easy and i can see another set of rapids coming down there and before we almost hit the trees so you gotta make sure that you're ready to try to bounce off or whatever you have to do. But I'm telling you guys, this thing, it's uh, something else. Now, according to Jesus, the ones that we did up there were the fastest ones, but I do see a couple fast ones coming up. And now we're ready for the next set of rapids here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the next, we are in the middle of the rapids. <laughs> the next set of rapids here. So, man, look, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all, so now, Obviously, we're gonna keep going down river. We've only been in the river for 15 minutes, so we got another hour and 45. Dream adventure for me. I'm in that river without a fishing rod. This is the last of the rapids. So we're gonna go ahead and go right on top of it. So we enjoy it because after this, it's gonna be basically a slow going all the way to the end. Okay. So now we're going through the rapids over here. Ba baby, careful. Be careful, amor. Okay. Amor, here it comes. Let's see. All right, that wasn't too bad, like the first one. All right, Woo! we made it. Now, that was the last of the rapids. So now it's gonna be basically smooth sailing all the way to the end, which we probably got like another hour and a half. So this is the end. The ocean is basically down there and we made it. We had a good time, me and my girl and uh, definitely recommend this trip. Thank you for watching and see you guys later.